just last week, GeForce Now added demos onto the service, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with just how well they work. I mean, just take a look for yourself. Find the demo, click play, and then you're instantly in. No needing to worry about logins, you're just playing. Now if you're a Stadia user watching this video, this might not be impressive to you simply because that's how demos work on Stadia and have always worked for quite some time. But as any long-term GeForce Now user will tell you, this has to be the smoothest experience in terms of clicking and playing a game on GFN. It's important to remember that GeForce Now typically uses your Steam, Ubisoft Connect, or other launcher library to actually get access to your games and play them. This means most of the time you have to actually sign into those libraries to start your game up and it's a bit of a process. I should point out that the GeForce Now app does let you connect straight to your accounts and thus you shouldn't have to sign in every time, but this feature has been pretty hit or miss for me. Now when the feature works as intended, it works great and I can't really say anything too bad about it. Yeah, it takes time to see the actual launcher boot up the game, but it's not a significant amount of time in my opinion. But when it doesn't work and you're trying to play through something like a shield tv and you don't have a keyboard in sight typing in your password every time becomes a pretty big hassle and i'm not gonna lie about it it's full-on stopped me from playing on geforce now a couple of times at the very least but now let's get back to how these demos work in comparison as you saw at the start you simply click and then you're in the game and boy does it make the user experience feel so much better because it brings that idea of click to play to geforce now and i'd say it's arguably on par with the Stadia experience in terms of launching a game and just getting right to playing. Now I may be making a bigger deal out of this than I need to, but it's because I genuinely believe that user experience is extremely important when trying to advertise a cloud gaming service. As many of you know if you've kept up with the channel, GeForce Now is my go-to solution right now. That's because I come from the perspective of a PC gamer. At this point in time, the 3080 tier is the only one that truly lets me take advantage of my 1440p monitor at 120Hz. And because of those benefits, I'm more than willing to deal with the shortcomings the service itself has. But the same clearly does not apply to everyone else. After all, this used to be Generation Stadia. I was a Stadia-centric channel. Chances are, many of you watching this right now are Stadia users and not GeForce Now users. And I know this for a fact because my viewership statistics heavily lean towards Stadia-related content. And whenever I did talk about the 3080 tier, like the first time I talked about my experience using it and how mind-blowing I thought it was, one thing was very common in the comments section, and that's that many of you feel that added performance is negated by the overall experience of just trying to play the game you're interested in playing at that point in time. Some of you mainly play on the go, on something like a mobile device, where high graphic settings aren't really all too noticeable. Some of you don't have a display setup that can really take advantage of the 1440p resolution or 120Hz. And others just simply don't have very much free time to enjoy their games, so any time that's not spent actually playing is time wasted. And that's that's why I'm a huge advocate for people to try out every cloud gaming service and judge for themselves to see what works best for them. At the end of the day, I truly believe that there is no best solution at this point in time. Everybody does something significantly better than everybody else. But if this GeForce Now demo system is a sign of what's to come, well, I think there's a lot of potential. Now to be very clear, from this point onward, we're into theory territory, so don't take this word as fact. But let's say GeForce Now finds a way to apply the very same demo system to the other games within its catalog. And it's no longer restricted to just game demos, but full on games. Imagine just being able to click play everything. Now for any Stadia users still watching at this point, I want to beg the question. If this was how GeForce Now worked, and you could just click and be instantly playing your game, would that change your opinion on GFN? More importantly, would it give you enough of a reason to check it out again if you have already, or check it out for the first time? But regardless to how you feel, I genuinely believe the user experience would be improved tenfold doing this. Not only do you get that quick snap access to the games you want to play, but you're going to be getting best in class performance if you're on the 3080 tier. That's literally the best of both worlds. Now what prevents this from happening is that GeForce Now isn't a store on its own. Obviously, they're using other launchers so you can play your games, that means they have to work with those partners to make your games accessible. But it does beg the question as to how these demos are accessed then. There is no launcher that launches when you click play on them, they just boot up the game. Does that mean these demos are on storage in GFN's cloud servers? Or is something still happening in the background with a launcher enabled, but we're just not seeing it because it's not our account that's being used to play the demo? Honestly, I don't know, but I think it's fun to theorize what it could be. Up until this 
point in the video, I've emphasized a ton on the demos, and that's because it's the easiest way for anyone with a GeForce Now account to try it for themselves and get to experience it. There actually is a full title that's available in a very similar fashion. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this game's available in every region for GeForce Now users or if they're still expanding slowly, but if you have Genshin Impact available to play on GFN, you can try this game out, and as you see, it's the same experience. Click play and you're instantly in the game. What makes Genshin Impact very interesting here is that it is available on the Epic Game Store launcher, but it doesn't appear to be using it to actually launch the game. When I go to the Epic launcher myself, check my library, Genshin Impact hasn't been claimed, so it's clearly not running from there. Instead, it seems like another case where GeForce Now is hosting the game themselves and just letting you boot right into it. So what's this all mean? Well, right now, not much, but I think there's a potential for a pretty big move here. If they can somehow verify our libraries and allow us to play our games in a much smoother transition, I think that's the ultimate end goal. But even if something like that isn't possible, I genuinely believe that there's room to do something really interesting here. I know up until this point, GeForce Now has made it very clear that they're not too interested in being a storefront themselves, but if they were able to create some sort of subscription service that gave you access to games that they're hosting, it would be pretty neat. No clue if they'd ever do it, or how valuable it would be, but I've always been a fan of having options available to every consumer. At the end of the day, we have demos now, and I think they work spectacularly the way they're implemented. Like I said, I don't know if it's just a master Steam account used in the background or something else entirely. I'm sure we can expect more demos in the future, and possibly more implementations of games just running straight off the bat like Genshin Impact, but I do hope that whatever they're doing here is applicable to verifying our own libraries and just getting us into the game faster. If they can manage to do that, I think it would be a huge win for the service, and I genuinely believe it would be a really big step for GeForce Now overall. Overall user experience is the one most common complaint I see when talking talking about GFN with other cloud gaming users. Some people simply don't like having to wait or sign in to play their games. This would simply alleviate that issue full stop, and I have no doubt that a lot of people would be happy to see it. Regardless, that's the end of this theory video, I hope you enjoyed it. It's more of a discussion topic and I want to know what your thoughts are down below. And if you happen to enjoy this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thanks for watching. Watching. This has been the Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.